Yeah, boom. Ooh, that is slick. It is nice, so crazy right? how I went from just keep feeling like, oh, it's a draft app and I don't really care to like, I really feel good about this app. Like, I kind of want to just be in it and do stuff. All right, so now we're going to create a navbar component. So I'm going to go ahead and create nav.js. And while I'm there, I'm actually going to create a nav.css. So nav.css as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we've got nav.js, uh, nav.css. So inside of our app, I'm going to basically pull that in. So I'm going to say nav like that. And then here in nav, I'm going to say RFCE because we love that little shortcut. And boom, we get we get the navbar. So now, and also this is actually one of the cleanest builds we've done. Like look at the the actual layout of the app. It's actually what you're seeing. It's like the navbar, then the banner, then all of the rows. Like mm. this is how component based design should be. Because then if you need to br jump into it, you can just jump into the appropriate like sort of component and work yeah. on it. Now I'm going to give it a class name. Mm -hmm. So class name of nav. So yep. class name of nav. And then we're going to have at the top now. So I need the Netflix logo and I need that little user avatar, right? Mm. So the first one I'm going to have is this. So I'm going to have the nav logo. So this is literally a Netflix logo. It's a link to a Netflix logo. Uh, and the alternative, it should always be like context specific. So in this case, it's a Netflix logo. So if I save that. It's and, not defined. Uh, we, import so we it. Import nav from nav. No. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So now if we see that, you should be able to see, um, okay, so it won't actually, it may not be there. So it's not actually there at the moment. What we can do is, oh, no, no. Wait, 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 no, okay. it's there. It's a very cute, <laughs> tiny little nav bar. <laughs> actually, it kind of looks cool. Should be a much smaller little logo. So I'm going to add the second logo, which is the little avatar that you saw on the right. Yeah. So if I save that. So that's pretty much a link to a very small avatar. So you should see on the on your screen now, you got that little smiley face, right? Yeah, very little. Tiny, so, tiny. So now, this will be a really good exercise for everyone to pay attention for. It's going to be pretty much how we use Flexbox, and we combine that with a fixed positioning to get everything that we need in the correct layout and form, right? So let's just so, put it side by side real quick, just to kind of address what you're talking about. So basically, we're gonna be using, so right now, first of all, this is in a column and this is in a row. Yeah. So we're probably gonna use Flexbox and do that, uh, put it in a row like this, right? Exactly. And then are we gonna yeah. be using object fit contain to make the size a smaller of this or does Flexbox we, like, will automatically do that? No, we, we, we do need to, whenever you're dealing with images, if you wanna keep the aspect ratio so that it doesn't stretch or act or weird, uh -huh. you have to use object fit contain. Got yeah. it. And how will we make it this small? So that we're gonna use a, uh, we're just gonna set the width and height of it. Yeah, Got so, it. Okay. so we're, we're going to set the width and height of it, and then we're going to allow Flexbox to determine how far apart the two elements should be. Got it. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also going to show you a, a little sort of edge case that everyone runs into because I ran into it today again. Um, and it's a really sort of cool, uh, really sort of nifty point that everyone should sort of, um, if you run into it, we're going to go over how you fix it. So. The first part is is the div that we're going to style. So this is the sort of container that surrounds everything. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say that this is should be there all the time. So I want it to kind of always be at the top of the screen, right? Mm -hmm. So fixed position allows it to stick to the top of the screen. So if I do this uh, like this, and now if I do that, mm -hmm. you should see that even if now if you was to scroll, uh, I need to save this, save the file. Okay, so now. If, if you scroll are you down, importing, are you importing this file in, in your... No, I'm, I'm not. That's a good call. <laughs> good call. Yeah. God, that's twice now. <laughs> Damn it. I'm picking uh, up on the nav, pattern, you know? That's it. Nav.css. So now it would, should come in. So, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, clean. Now it just... Do you see that? Every... Right. Dude, I don't know. This so kind of looks cool. I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. I think like... Hey, everyone give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh right. my God. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, 
So this is the problem, right? If I give this display flex, yeah, so what we would typically do at this point is I'd say display flex, and then by default, it should go into a row, right? So if I save this, it should go into a row, but can you see how it, it did go into a row, but it's, it's, it's a bit, it's acting a bit strange right now, yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna handle it as we normally would, and we would assume that because the Netflix logo is so big, it's just pushed over so far to the side. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and style that logo. So I'm gonna say nav logo, and I'm gonna give that a, a so I'm gonna say that one is um, width of 80 pixels. So it's gonna be very small. So you see this, if we do this and save it. Yeah. Now you see it is horrible, it scrunches up, right? So to fix that, we do object fit contain, right? And save it. And now you should see like it saved the aspect ratio. So now it's like that tiny little thing, right? Yeah. Now, if I do nav avatar and I do it like this and I say position, oh no, sorry, I say width nice. of 30 pixels. Now this one, and I remember I also need to do object fit contain, otherwise it's gonna get all horribly messed up. If it contains, so if I do that, them two together, boom. Ooh, yeah, clean. It's not clean. And then if I do justify content, so justify content, and I do space between. So I want to kind of, I want the flexbox to figure out what the space between it should be, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where you would think things are broken, right? So I, I ran into this today and I was like, why is it not working? Oh my God, like, why is it not behaving? So what happens is, is when you use position fixed with these rules, you, it doesn't behave the way you need it to for some yeah. reason. So I, I think this position flex has a clash with justify content or something like that. And I tried to do width of 100%. So even if we were to do width of 100% here, you can see it's also, oh, well, oh, okay. Then again. Oh, nice. All right, let's just, let's just maybe go with that. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I ran into an issue earlier where I had to double wrap it. But I mean, okay, let's go with that. So in that case, we're going to, we've almost got it looking as we need it. But right now, what we need to do is add some additional padding. So we want to yeah, say padding. Yeah, because Netflix here, there's spacing. And then on ours, there's like, it's touching the corner too much. Oh, you actually did yeah, it. So I, it's actually. Yeah, I added it just there. Right, yeah. but here's the problem. Yeah, so you see like how it goes off on the side a little bit. Yeah, the, my avatar is yeah. like gone. So it doesn't look that nice, right? Mm -hmm. So what we can do at this point is we can kind of do two things, right? So I kind of have an approach with this and, and it, this is very opinionated how you sort of approach this issue. Um, so what I would do here is I would give the nav logo because it's always going to be fixed in that top corner. I would give the, the, the logo a fixed position and I would say left zero and I would say and that. So, so, so now the, the logo is not actually going to look like it changed too much or it is going to oh, go push to the left a bit, right? Yeah. And then the right one, I'm going to give it a position fixed, but I'm going to say right, um, right. But I don't want it to touch the side, so I'm going to say 20 pixels. So it's going to just slightly go away from the side. Ooh. See that? Yeah. Yeah. But for the first one, I can I can actually say rather than left 20 pixels, uh, I can give left 20 pixels, sorry, and it should push away from the left, right? Yeah. Now, I don't actually need that additional padding, I believe. Oh no, I do need that padding because that's the top of the print thing, right? So that's why I did that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So in this case, now we've got fixed positioning. So if you were to scroll down now, everything looks perfect as it should. Like. Yeah, look at that, wow. See that? Whoops. Everything looks really clean, it looks nice, and it sort of does what we want it to do. Damn, um, look at that. That is looking perfect. What we want to do now is basically have it. So how can we do it so that I have this? So if I do background color black, right? So this, so you see like here, for example, I need to give it a height. So say for example, I want to have, so I'm going to show a neat little trick now. So I'm going to set the height of 30 pixels because these these values can be fixed because we know what the size of the logo is and we know what the size of the avatar is so it's fine to give a, a fixed height so if i gave that 30 pixels there we go right nice but i, can I see don't the want header that now. Black, yeah i don't want that black stuff to come up until i scroll down mm. right so if you look at the deployed version yeah 
basically it's it's nothing it's is like there right there, there's nothing there let me refresh maybe get yeah. a lighter cover so it's more visible um, yeah so there's nothing around here right now but then as I start to scroll down boom it pops up right over there so yeah. that's what we want. You get really nice. You get a really nice sort of effect with that, right? Yeah. So what we need to do is firstly, because it's a header, it's always a good idea to add a Z index of one. So it's always going to be at the top. Yeah. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to go into our nav bar. So this is something that is relatively new to me. I've used it once before, but it's basically what we're doing here is we need to add some kind of scroll listener inside of our navbar component so that way it's listening to the scroll sort of so we need to attach a listener to the window and say when you scroll down i need you to do something right yeah so what we're going to do here is i'm going to say i'm going to have a use effect because that's what we kind of run to when we need this sort of like a piece of code that needs to execute on a given condition so in our case we need the code to run once when the navbar component loads, right? And that's and then and that's because we want to attach a, a listener, right? Yeah. So the code is basically this one. So I'm gonna explain what it is. I'm gonna snip it out so it's here. And it sets a piece of state. So, so I'm it's gonna listening to it's now. listening to a scroll. And if yep. a scroll on the Y axis is greater than a hundred, like so basically hundred pixels yep. or whatever. So basically I'm imagining like uh, even if I go to this app and I scroll down, so it's like it doesn't happen right this second. It doesn't happen now. It doesn't happen now. It doesn't happen now. But basically, when I'm a hundred pixels probably down from the y-axis, that's when it kicks in. Exactly. Got yeah. It. Okay. So that's when we basically want to set a piece of state, so handle show, to be true, right? Otherwise, if you're not at a hundred pixels downwards in the y-axis, set it to false, right? Yeah. And what this is doing is it's saying every time like use effect gets fired off for whatever reason, before you fire it off again, just remove the listeners. So that way you don't get like 20 listeners. But if, if use effect Oh, was you can remove off. listeners too like that. Yeah. That you can is remove nice. Listeners like that. Okay. Which is really clean, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to obviously add a piece of state here. So the, the state that we need is this one here. So it's going to say const show handle show use state so we're just setting up a piece of state here so i'm going to import it over here and say use state uh -huh. like this and now what we're going to see is use effect oh so we also need a use effect so use effect um and what we're going to do now is basically we're going to add a very little neat little sort of block here so where we have the class name here right we're going to basically do some string concatenation and I'm going to say it always should have the nav, uh, nav class. I always want it to have the nav class. But if show is true, right? So if, if, if they've scrolled past, so 100 pixels and, and that variable gets set to true, mm -hmm. then I want to also append this class. We're, we're going to call it nav black because it's going to have the black background, right? So I'm going to save that, which means that now if, it's, if you scroll past uh, if you scroll down 10 pixels, if you scroll down, it's going to get the black bar. But obviously, we haven't set up the CSS yet. Yeah. So previously, I had it to always apply, right? So if I get rid of that, when I save it, now it's going to have nothing as a background. Yeah? Yeah. But if I now add the rule for nav black, so if I say nav, um, so firstly, I need to actually, I want to copy that um, background color. So where is it? This one. So I'm going to copy that. Um, and I'm going to say nav black here, yeah. the background color is this. So now, no, look what happens. If we scroll down, it's going to snap the color in. Nice. Yep. It does it instantly. But I mean, in let's our make sort it, of let's demo. Make it, let's make it really visible. So here, guys, yep. if you look at it, there's nothing, right? But when I scroll down, you'll notice it snaps it in. You guys see that right there? The little snap in like that so we want to make sure that that's not there if we look in our uh, completed app when i scroll down you'll see that it has this nice little fade in so that's what we want to add to our app right now yeah that's a really good point yeah so that's what exactly what we're about to add so the animation code to add that is this so here we pretty much have a transition so this right here is saying add a 
uh, transition to everything that you do in here. So whether whether or not the width changes, whether or not the opacity changes, anything, add a 0.5 second delay to it. So it's gonna have a nice little fade. And then we're saying, this is basically saying for all of your transitions, how do you want to handle them? So we're going to use something called ease in, which gives you a very nice sort of gradual fade in, right? Mm -hmm. So let's save that and let's check it now and it should all be really nicely doing it. So if we scroll nice. down. Nice. If I scroll down, yeah, that's awesome. It really has nice, a nice right? little scroll. Let's refresh so it's clear. Let's find a lighter image. So right here, this is gonna be, yeah, boom. Ooh, that is slick. It is nice, so crazy right? how I went from just keep feeling like, oh, it's a draft app and I don't really care to like, I really feel good about this app. Like I kind of want to just be in it and do stuff, even though I know we didn't add yeah. much more functionality. And that's the thing guys, like front end development, what makes a good front end developer is literally very subtle things. Like it's super subtle. Um, but many people think it's always like these massive changes that you need to do. Honestly, it's the, it's the small tweaks that you learn to sort of do really well that give you big wins. So literally in this case, that little fade in, how do you how do you get that? The little sort of uh, fade in from the, um, the banner to the rest of the app, those sort of little small wins. If you sort yeah. of learn those little tricks and sort of caveats, then you can pretty much get your apps looking like this all the time yeah it just takes a lot of practice and i'd recommend honestly just as much time as you put into sort of development look into design courses and stuff like that because they do they do make a big difference yeah that's actually true because honestly sometimes it motivates me to then add more back and and more functionality to my app because i get inspired every time i look at my app because uh, when i'm looking yeah. at just console logs or a broken down html you know tables that i've built it doesn't really motivate me to keep making more things on that app. Exactly, exactly. And it's gonna start to like sort of bring down your, like if, you, if your app doesn't look good, it kind of kills your motivation. But the minute it starts looking like this, you just wanna keep on working on it. Like you wanna keep on adding functionality and adding yeah, things yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, 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 that's so, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So you're literally gonna sit here and just play with it all night because you're just you're gonna have, you're gonna have this pride for this sort of app and then you want to put it on your portfolio because you want to show it, talk about it, and everything. Um, nice.